And then in Revelation chapter 4, the apostle John gives us a glimpse of heaven, and he said in chapter 4, he said, I looked, and before me was a door standing open in heaven. Not an abstract idea, another figure of speech. Heaven is a real place with real people who have real bodies, and they have real life and real joy and real peace. There are real angels in heaven, and heaven is my real home. Heaven, secondly, heaven is a place of uninterrupted fellowship with God. When D.L. Moody was about to die, they asked him, what are you looking forward to the most in heaven? Well, they thought he was going to talk about the streets of gold and the pearly gates. And he said, I'm going to spend the very first thousand years gazing at the face of Jesus. He said, I don't care about those pearly gates and, and streets of gold, whatever they may be. <laughs> and that's exactly what the Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians 13. He says, for now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Heaven is all about Jesus. Heaven is all about Jesus. And that is why for those of us who love him, our greatest joy will be seeing him face to face. Heaven is a real place. Secondly, heaven is a place of uninterrupted fellowship with Jesus. Thirdly, heaven is a place of rest from our battles. Listen to what John said in Revelation 14, 13. Uh, John said, I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. From now on they may rest from their labors and their works follow them. Now again, some people through the years interpreted this to mean that we're going to be idols in heaven. Are we just going to be lie, lie, lie down and soak the sun? Or they're just going to lie around and do nothing? Or they're just kind of... Uh, 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 sit on these fluffy clouds and, and string our harps. And, no, 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 that's not what meant here. Uh, this may be the vision for the great society. It may be a vision for the New Deal. That is not the vision for heaven. We will be working in heaven. We will be working more than ever. In fact, the rest that he's talking about here is rest from the battles that we have, the spiritual battles, um, the battles with Satan and the battles with the flesh and the battles with the world. Here on earth, we are forever fighting temptations. Uh, we are forever uh, fighting uh, and trying to stop the world from trying to squeeze us into its mold. Here we are battling fleshly desires. Here we are struggling with spiritual forces in the heavenly places. But in heaven, there will be no sin. There will be no Satan because he's going to be bound and sent into the lake of fire. There will be no temptation that will take us away and pull us away from the love of Jesus because we're going to be with him. And there is no sin where Jesus is. Amen.